The following question reads that at high temperatures, steam decomposes into its elements according to the following equation. So, there is water decomposing into H2 and O2 and in one experiment at one atmosphere pressure, let us uh, mark this pressure as well because that is important for finding or calculating equilibrium partial pressures. The question states that 20% of the steam had been converted into hydrogen. So, 20% of the steam has reacted. That is the only information that is given. So, I have uh, copied this reaction over here and uh, there is steam over here. Now, the question is stating that 20% of the steam has dissociated and we, we are being asked to calculate the partial pressure. So, 20% of the steam has dissociated. I do not know what the initial moles are. There is no information given about the initial moles or the, or the equilibrium moles. So, I am going to take a hypothetical value that my initial moles, the moles that I added in the container, uh, I added 100 moles initially and no H2 was present initially and no O2 was present initially because nothing had dissociated. He was talking about steam. So, I have 100 moles of steam. So, if 20% has dissociated, which means 20% has reacted. So, 20 moles, 20% 20 of 100 moles is 20 undergoing a reaction and they have reacted. And according to the ratio, if 2 react, they are going to produce 2 and produce 1 of O2. So, if 20 react, they are going to produce 20 moles of H2 and 20 moles of O2 as well. Now, the next part is I am going to try and figure out the equilibrium moles. Uh, so, these are my hypothetical moles. If I had 100 moles, I would have 20 would have reacted. So, I would be left with 80 moles at equilibrium. Similarly, if initially I had no hydrogen and 20 moles of uh, steam or 20 percent of steam had dissociated to produce 20 moles, then I would have no initial 20 moles produced. So, that means I would have a net amount of 20 moles of H2 and uh, this would actually be, uh, let me correct this. This should be 10 moles because the ratio is that if uh, 2 is produced, 1 of O2 would be produced. So, it is 2 ratio 1. So, if 20 are produced, uh, then 10 moles of uh, O2 would be produced. So, the moles of O2 at equilibrium would be, they are going to be 10 moles. So, these are my equilibrium moles and these are my hypothetical values. Now, remember that you could have chosen any hypothetical value. You would have gotten the same exact ratio because we are interested in the ratio of the mixture. And we are now going to try and calculate uh, partial pressures because now I have my equilibrium moles. So, this over here is the way I have calculated the partial pressure of H2O, which is that it is the moles of uh, H2O divided by the total moles at equilibrium. So, so the ratio is uh, 80 moles of H2O present at equilibrium and the total moles, if you add them up, it is 80 plus 10 plus, 10, uh, plus 20. That gives me 110. So, multiplied by the uh, pressure at equilibrium which was given as 1 atmosphere and this value uh, it is 80 over 110 into 1 atmosphere and this is the same thing I am going to do with all the other uh, components. So, these are the three expression pH2 and PO2. P pH2 had uh, 20 moles or out of the total mixture had 110 moles multiplied by 1 atmosphere. PO2 had 10 moles out of a total of 110 moles at equilibrium into 1 atmosphere, atmosphere pressure. So, these are my partial pressures that I have calculated. I am going to match them in the expression. So, let us go back and look at the expression and if you look carefully, then D is going to be the correct option because uh, D gives me 0.8 over 1.1 into 1. So, let us look at my expression. Uh, if I divide this both values by 100, then this would actually be the same expression. It would be 0.8 over 1.1. Similarly, if I divide this by both values by 100, it is going to be 0 0.2 divided by 1.1 and the last one would be uh, 1 divided by 1.1, actually 0.1, let us correct that. This one would actually be 0 0.1 divided by 1 into 1 atmosphere and you can see that uh, option D has the correct expression. So, the partial pressures uh, would be D would be true for D. So, option D is going to be the correct answer for this question.